Well, it started uh, about nine years ago nine. in 2006 when we got together some of friends, like eight friends, we got together um, in understanding that uh, whatever we uh, achieved in our lives was because we had very good education. We went to a very good school School at the time in, in Yerevan, then we went to a pretty decent university in Moscow, which was the best technology university in the country at the time. And this all gave us an opportunity to uh, go in very different directions. Some of us were in science, others are in uh, business, the other, the Father Mesrop is actually in spiritual uh, activity. And all that was possible because we had this quality of education. We understood that it's not the same for the new generation. The new generation is actually growing in a country where education is not getting better or not getting much better. It's behind most of the countries. And all of the leads all, in all of the comparisons, Armenia is way below the leaders. So we decided we're going to change that. And we established a foundation, which was named IP Foundation. IP stands for the first letter in Armenian alphabet. And um, the goal was to uh, influence the, the education in Armenia. At that time, we, nobody could have suggested that at, at some point later, uh, we will be able to have a school, to have um, uh, a program that, that is run uh, alongside with government that is called the National Program for, for Education Excellence. And we will be able to promise that in a few years from now we'll open 17 schools like this one all across the country. How many schools are there now? One? It's just two. two. One schools. here in Yerevan and the other one is in Dirijan. What age group are we talking about and how many students are there? Um, in the, uh, this school is a uh, full school. It includes elementary, middle school and high school. And uh, it has around 400 uh, students right now. The other one in Dilijan is elementary and middle. It doesn't have the high school component there. And, but both are uh, teaching at the same level, having the same curricula and everything. And the next step will be that through this program that I was talking about, we are going to uh, introduce the same principles of teaching, the same curriculum, the same quality of teachers, because we have a, a teaching um, a teacher preparation center, or teacher training center, that we are um, designing uh, with the help of the London Institute of Education that is going to produce teachers for this new school system. And this is not our ultimate goal, actually. The ultimate goal is by uh, 2023 to be in every high school in Armenia, to, to be represented with our program, with our approaches in every high school. We, we can't promise that we'll convert all of the schools into our platform. That's going to be a much more challenging task, but at least we are willing to enter every school and have a, a class or group of students taught using our principle, our methodology, our programs, etc. You know, you started with eight people, eight visionaries, and you then jumped and said, "We started. A we have a foundation." Where did the support come from? Is it individuals who support it? Is it a governmental supported organization? I keep hearing HBU partners with IPE. Where does this main support, where was the main push from? Uh, well, there was no main push. And that's, that's the thing. From the very beginning, we understood that you can only achieve something so socially important when you have built a large community of people that are all working together. You don't have one leader that tells everybody what to do. There is a community and we, whatever we do, we agree with all of the community that this is right, this is the way to go. And we are using community resources and these are not only financial resources, but financial resources are all, of course there. When we started, we were just eight people. When we opened the first building of this school, we already had 50 supporters. 
By the time we opened the second building, we had 200 supporters. Now, uh, about 100 supporters. Now we have more than 200 supporters. And this number is growing, ticking almost every day. And this is because, because people start to understand this is important, this is working, this is, this is a success. And it all starts with, with belief, with, with vision, with belief that this is going to happen. And the first people that came to us joined uh, what we trust in, the idea. And then gradually, as we started some, having some successes, then we started the construction of the building and everything, we have seen more and more uh, support. And we also feel uh, already as we gain some reputation and, and we can show some achievement, we also see like we're in large organizations like AGBU uh, more and more looking at us, not as a, a small child that is doing his first steps, but as, as a serious organization that you can work with as a serious organization together to build something really, really large and important. But I believe that the only, uh, if we talk about Armenian nation for the future, it's not only the survival thing. We can't stay in a survival mode. We have to go into the growing mode. And the growth mode is only achieved when you have a, a generation that is strong, that is well educated, that likes their nation, likes the country where they was born, if it's Armenia, or they like their community, and they feel empowered by the community, empowered by their origins. That This way we can keep growing the nation and keep being influential in, in the world. And this is only possible if the whole success of the nation stems from, from the education. You can, you, you can only do that if you have a strong platform, educational platform for the whole nation. And what we are now doing, we are actually building not only a school, we are be the, building the whole platform, which is called Aratian Baccalaureate, which is going to be uh, one leading excellence platform for education for the whole Armenian nation. It's not only for Armenia, it's not only for a particular school, it's um, for everybody. Yes, and we actually are able to do what we do because we get this support. And um, uh, the, the support from AGBU and partnership for, for, with AGBU is very important for us. And uh, with support of people like Nazarian, like Bershet Rakan, and all of the other people that are always with us in all of our efforts, we think we, we can further improve and grow and be successful in what we do.